Oh, hello. For our flow visualization lab, we investigated vortex shedding, or the von Karman vortex stream. This is the unsteady oscillation of vortices shed off of a bluff body. First, we modeled this phenomenon using computational fluid dynamics. Our goal was to take the computational fluid dynamics results and verify them using laboratory experiment. At very low Reynolds number, the flow around the cylinder is laminar and steady. Increasing the Reynolds number between 4 and 40, flow separates from the trailing edge of the cylinder and stationary vortices form in the wake. For Reynolds numbers between 80 and 200, unsteady oscillating vortices are shed off the trailing edge of the cylinder. If the frequency of the oscillations reaches the resonance frequency of the cylinder, the amplitude of the oscillations will increase until the structure fails. As a great Mike Johnson put it, shedding whirls come from stationary whirls, depending on Reynolds number, but if the frequency hits resonance, it can cause a structural blunder. Our experiment was set up in a flow channel with a cylinder set up in cross flow to laminar flow. Dye was injected here and here using two different colors. The one color of dye will go around the cylinder this way as the other color of dye goes around the cylinder this way. To obtain the velocity of the water in the flow channel, we injected dye at this point. As this dye passed these two lines, we measured the time. Knowing the distance between these two points and the time it took for the dye to travel past these two points, we were able to determine the velocity of the flow. In this visualization, we see alternating red and blue vortices shed downstream from a cylinder in crossflow. The correlation between the computational fluid dynamics model and our experimental results are obvious. Note the same structures and shedding frequencies. Here we are looking at vortex shedding frequency as a function of Reynolds number. Note that for two flows with the same Reynolds number, the vortex shedding frequency is exactly the same. We note here that the rate of vortex shedding is different for fluids with different Reynolds numbers. The vortex shedding frequency was measured by seeing how many vortices passed through a point in a given amount of time. This correlation relates the vortex shedding frequency and the Reynolds number. Comparing our experimental results with the theoretical ones shows a good correlation between the two. Possible sources of error in this experiment include surface and wall effects in the fluid channel, small anomalies caused by dye injection, and inaccurate measurements of the free stream velocity. In spite of these small limitations, we were able to visually verify the results of the computational fluid dynamic model. We were also able to measure the vortex shedding frequency which we found to be in very close agreement with the calculated vortex shedding frequency. And finally, we were able to produce some stunning flow visualizations. Thank you very much. Yeah!